Before we start with the video, go in the description bar and check out the link for G2A to get cheap games and codes. What's up guys, I'm back with another video and we're going to go over on how to replace the hard drive portion of a laptop. So as you know from the last video we did RAM, now we're going to do hard drive. So we just go ahead and use a 2.5 screwdriver, which should be the size for most laptops. If it isn't, then you probably might have to use something smaller or maybe even something bigger. So after you take them, take the screws off, pop it open, and there's the hard drive. Now as you can see, there's mounts on this one. Most of them actually have mounts. These mounts are meant for to keep it so that it doesn't move. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and move this five away from it unscrew it off of the mount the reason why they have these mounts is because laptops they move around a lot and they need to stay still I wouldn't even recommend using a hard drive I would even use a freaking a uh, solid state for a hard drive or a solid state for a laptop mainly because the hard drives have moving, moving parts and you could break it so now we just remove the mount off the hard drive After we remove the mount, we got a one terabyte drive over on my right inside a bag. You can see we're done with that one. So now what we need to do is that we need to get that hard drive. So as the bundle of hard drives that I have, we're gonna choose it should all be the same. What is this? Can not exactly tell what size this is? 640, 640, I need a one tear, where's a one tear? 75, this one should be a one tear. One terabyte, 5,400 5, 5, 5, uh, RPMs. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go ahead and put the mount back on to the new hard drive, just like this. It should work, because most of them are the same size. Use the same screws you used before. You attach it. Don't, I would not recommend screwing it in all the way, just at least a little bit, just enough for it to, just enough for you to be able to screw in the other one because you got to make sure that they're both in. After they're both in, there you go. Make sure both the mounts are tightly in so it shouldn't move or anything. Then you slowly slide the hard drive back into the computer. There you go. Put in the mount screw to mount it to the computer. This screw is actually really, really tiny, so I don't think it's recommended for me to be using this size of screw driver. But it still works though. Just tighten it a little bit and move it around just to see to make sure that's not moving. And that's how you install hard drive. You put the case over it, 